This is going to be a fantastic matchup. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots. Way we go. That was a very lost wow. start from Kazaya. Better of the first exchange. Very cautious start from Chainsaw Kitty. Is the weapon stopped on Chainsaw Kitty? I believe it is. And it then, is. That is not a good place to be for Kazaya at this point in the bracket. No, but we've got, a, we got a fully held pin on both bots there from Red Panda. So Chainsaw Kitty trying to rack up the control points if they can. Ooh, that's not great. Two shots right into the corner there from Red Panda. You can no. really hear Red Panda revving up. I got to say, great control driving from Chainsaw Kitty. You don't usually need to see that because the weapon hits so hard. All the recovering from the bounces has paid off. Yeah, because uh, I has uh, transitioned seamlessly here to a uh, control driver. Very impressive. But it only takes one hit from Red Panda for that streak to end. Yeah. And way more than half of this fight still left to go. Yeah, and let's not forget, with a weapon down, the control and aggression from Chainsaw Kitty needs to be impeccable for the rest of this match if they want to win. And it's tough to be aggressive when your opponent still has a spinning weapon in the front of their robot, and you do not. Yeah, something in your brain doesn't want to hit those engagements the way you really need to. You know, folks, Chainsaw Kitty pin. is delivering so far. These are incredible pins. Oh, as we zoom in, I don't know what happened. The weapon belt's still there. The weapon is still there. The motor is still there. No, Some, it's just stuck. It's just stuck. Or burnt out. Oh, interesting. You saw a moment ago the forks on the front of Web Panda getting stuck in the arena floor. Yeah, I noticed that too. And a flip from Chainsaw Kitty. A flip and a perfectly executed uh, pushing of the weapon into the wall. And then into their own multi bot configuration. Well done. All right, it looks like Red Panda kind of turning it around here, able to flip Chainsaw Kitty upside down with a shot to the backside. This is not where Chainsaw Kitty wants to be. They have a tough time self-writing when they don't have a weapon, but they managed to pull it off anyway. Yeah, high centered there on the uh, on the smaller bot. Yeah, this is, I don't know if it's an intentional pin or not. We'll see if they can um, de-pin in a moment. But that is a great look for Red Panda. There goes a fork. I believe that was a fork off Kitty. It was. That fork, however, was pretty bent up. Yeah, that they, looks like the thing. Are any of those wheels touching the ground? They are not. This is going to be an unstick. No, we're down to the last no, we one are down second to the last. in the matchup. Man, saved by the bell, as it were. This will go to the judges. Woo. That was tooth and nail Yikes. for the entirety of the match. I am stressed out, guys. I saw Jaren <laughs> fall to the floor after that match. I think he is stressed out as well. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, an incredible driving showing from Chainsaw Kitty and an incredible uh, technical showing in terms of the robot from Red Panda. Congratulations, Jaren. Red Panda, you're going on to the final match to go for the dumpster. And I just want to say one thing. Incredible thank you to Aiden, also known as Flurb, who, incredible minibot driver, never driven from me before today. Incredible driver, and I would not be here without him. Good luck, Kazaya. I am so proud of you. You are awesome. Congratulations, I can't wait to see you again.